yeah, 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 yeah. This is Dogo. For those that don't know, this is the promo. Woo! Boy Cole. Yeah. You already know. Uh. And yeah, Dogo's a nickname. You don't know my real name? It's Dorian. Yeah. Yeah. I'm rapping on my way to work. I'm just kidding. I don't even work. Got a girl. Yeah. No need to play. What is going on YouTube? I know you guys don't know me yet, but my name is Dugo. Thank you for clicking on my video. This is my first video on this channel. I plan to turn this channel into a channel that is about customization and um, yeah, just custom things from sneakers to today we're doing a pumpkin, doing a supreme pumpkin. So uh, yeah, if you like this video, please at the end hit that subscribe button. We're going to keep growing this channel, keep doing more customizations. You guys show me love, then I'll keep on making videos. But yeah, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment, leave a comment, what you want me to customize next, um, what you think about the video, all that good stuff. But today we're going to be doing a Supreme Pumpkin. Halloween's coming up, so I felt like this would be a good video, um, video to do. Just give some people some ideas on what they want to do with their pumpkins. But uh... But yeah, if you don't know Supreme, Supreme's a big clothing brand based out of New York, streetwear brand. Um, yeah, just a brand that I've admired for a long time. I, I'm into streetwear and all that. So, uh, so yeah, let's get right into this. Thanks. Okay, so all we need for this custom is one pumpkin. Bought this thing for about three bucks at Target. Some red spray paint. It's about another three, four bucks at Walmart. Some decal, uh, sticker decal. Um, you can buy this stuff at your local craft store. I got this from Joann's. I'm um, using a uh, holographic. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can kind of see that. Holographic color. Um, they got tons of colors though. You don't have to do holographic. And uh, then you need, when you use this, you need transfer paper. Um, you can buy this at the craft store too. And uh, yeah, you also need a um, decal cutter. If you're doing the custom like I'm doing, you can do it a bunch of different ways. Um, but what I plan to do is take this pumpkin, spray paint it completely red. This is a fairly easy custom. Spray paint this completely red and then stick a Supreme decal. I wanna use this holographic stuff again. Um, cut out Supreme with that stuff and then stick it right on top. And then, um, yeah, that's basically it. And it should be all good to go. There's other ways you can do this. Um, if you don't have a um, Cricut cutter, which is what I'm using, Cricut uh, decal slash um, iron-on cutter, whatever, fabric cutter. Um, you could take a Supreme sticker or um, find the Supreme font, Supreme logo online and print that on a piece of paper and then cut out each individual, um, cut out each individual letter and then stick that on the pumpkin if you want. There's all types of ways. Um, and uh, yeah, some people might not want to just put a decal on a pumpkin, so I guess you could you could spray paint or paint the pumpkin one color, let it dry for a while, then put a, the decal or cutout or stencil whatever you got over that um, base color, and then spray paint the pumpkin in a completely different color. So if you want it to be the iconic supreme. Uh, colorway You could paint this bad boy white um, Base coat let it dry then put a supreme stencil or cut out whatever you got over it Lay lay the letters down and then spray paint the entire thing red and then take the decals off um, The stencil whatever off and then it should say supreme and white and then um, You know you'll, the rest of the pumpkin will be red but I'm doing the, the easier way. I wanted to use this holographic stuff, so so yeah. Um, I'll show you guys how to 
print out um, or how to use the the Cricut cut decal cutter that I have um, after this but uh, but yeah so we're gonna start off um, I think I'm making the the Supreme Supreme is gonna be about six inches long so you got to take the transfer or the sticker decal stuff cut out as much as you need This this uh, this thing um, will come with the the Cricut um, decal cutter machine. I don't even know what it's called, but yeah, this this comes with it. This is what you put the paper, um, the decal sticker stuff or iron on whatever. You can do T-shirts and stuff with this stuff, but um, you put this stuff on here. And it'll stick. It'll stick to this, and then you stick it into the uh, into the decal machine, into the Cricut machine, and it'll cut out whatever you uh, programmed it to cut out. I'll show you guys how to do that after this. But mine, I've used it so many times, it's not the adhesive is gone. So I'm gonna lay this down on here and then tape the edges so it holds flat, and uh, it'll cut it out nicely. So. go it's not the prettiest but um, it works like I said you could take adhesive spray if um, you have one of these and the sticks gone off you could buy a new one now, this is the only one I have right now so this is what I got to do but yeah like I said take this stick it into the Cricut machine um, cut out our supreme through the program the Cricut program and uh, yeah we'll have the decal Plug the cricket into the computer. Turn her on. Open it up. Grab the transfer sheet. Put it into here. Hopefully the tape holds it down. All right, take it out. There we go. Nice and cut for us. So now we're going to take this back to the table. Um, peel off the excess this stuff peel that all the way off and then we'll just be left with the supreme cut out and then we'll get to spray painting our pumpkin all right like I said take this thing off of here I'm not sticking it all Okay, got some of this that wasn't cut on, so we'll cut that out, save that for a different project at a later date. All right, let me focus this. All right, we're gonna take this excess off. We'll be left with the Supreme. There'll be a few pieces like inside the E's, um, inside the P that we'll have to take out as well. Using this, um, I don't know what this tool is called, but it's it's made for this. This came this came with the Cricut machine. So let me get some more light in here. 
Hold up. Yeah, this came with the Cricut machine and uh, it comes with a whole bunch of tools. They got guides and everything that you can um, use. I mean, this is fairly simple stuff. So let's weed this out. So you pluck it, pluck one side of it, and just slowly pull it off. Like so. Yeah, sometimes it comes off nice and smooth. Some of them don't though, so you gotta be careful not to snag the graphic you're trying to keep on there. Alright, now weed out all the excess pieces. Battery died. It's all good, but got this all weeded out. It's looking pretty nice. Yep, looking pretty nice. Now all you do is apply this onto the transfer paper. Like this, cut the transfer paper out. And then, um, yeah, we'll go outside, spray paint the, the pumpkin red. Wait for it to dry, and then we'll put this on there for the final touch. Alright, let's add this to the transfer. On the transfer paper, like that. Make sure it's on there pretty good. Because when we go and put this on the pumpkin, or if you're putting this on anything, um, you're going to take this off, and you're going to want the graphic, or whatever you cut out. See, my transfer paper sucks. See if I can get it. Yeah, here we go. So you're going to want it to be on here like this, on the transfer paper. And then you, you take this all the way off, stick this on whatever you're putting this on, and then you peel the transfer paper off the top. Yep. That is all. Let me smash this down in here a little bit better. Cut around the edges. There we go. Yeah, hopefully this transfer paper works for me when I transfer it over. It's pretty old, but it should work. All right. Now we're gonna take the pumpkin, go outside, spray paint this thing red, add this on here, and then we'll see what she looks like. Made it outside. Got the setup to spray paint the pumpkin. Got it suspended on a brick so I can get the undersides a little better on the first coat. Um, I'm gonna spray this thing down. Wait a few hours, wait for it to dry. Uh, put the decal on and that'll be it. Let's get into it. Let's look at her. Looking pretty good. I was thinking about doing multiple coats, but it looks like this might be the only coat I need. Might hit the bottom a little bit more. But overall, it's looking like a big old, big old cherry. It's perfect. Yeah, we'll let this thing dry a little bit. There's no drips on it or anything. Nice, even, even coat of red. Let it dry for a little bit, uh, maybe a few hours. And then we'll come out, see how it's looking, and then we'll add that decal. As promised, it's been a few hours. The paint has dried. We're gonna put the Supreme decal on that we made earlier. Get that on there. And then I'll show some, some up close and personal footage of it. So you guys can see the final product. So like I said before, all you do is figure out where you want it. Like right here. Right there. Apply this onto there carefully.
Bang. Look at that. Supreme pumpkin. There she is. Now you got the dopest pumpkin on the block. The most hype pumpkin on the block. There we go. Hope you guys like this video. If you did, once again, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want me to do next. We can keep this thing rolling. Thanks again. Happy Halloween. And stay safe. Peace.